Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be doing a brew review. Um, kind of sitting around tonight thinking of, you know, what kind of video I should make and I thought, you know, just picked up this uh, new beer and uh, thought I'd review it for all you guys that are out there watching, the thousands of you. Um, the brew that we're doing today, it is called uh, Must Be The Honey Blonde, Blondie? Must Be The Honey Blondie uh, Beer if you can see that or not um it is brewed by belch and beaver brewery um where would that be hmm. i don't know where they're based out of uh it's ale brewed with honey i guess uh 5.5 percent alcohol volume um yeah um can't figure out oh oceanside california Ugh. all right um that's probably going to deduct a few points. Um, must be the honey. Blondie Ale. Our smooth drinking honey Blondie Ale is one of our best sellers. I'll be the judge of that. And for good reason. We brew it with the finest quality honey available. Flora aromas leap from the glass while subtly, uh, while subtly sweet flavors uh, linger on the finish, making the spear... For all occasions, um, after just one sip, this beer will have you saying, damn, it must be the honey. I didn't know they were allowed to cuss on cans. It's new. Um, cheers to you, my friend, and welcome to the Beaver family. Cheers, Tom. All right. Well, uh, to start off, I think what I'm going to do is a smell test. Let's figure out the aromas. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour it. Um... Yeah. That'll work. Because it says, you know, when you pour it. Yeah. Okay. We want the aromas to uh, leap from the glass. And uh, I saw a video once where you pour the beer like this and it won't, uh, won't get everywhere. Come on. All right. Well, I guess that'll work. Um, let's start with the smell. Hmm. Um, okay. I'm getting it a little bit. It definitely has more of a honey kick to it. A little uh, floral. Yeah, the honey smell is definitely in there. Um, it's not too strong. Kind of have to look for it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, smell, I'll give it a... I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. Um, you still, it smells like beer, but, um, you do smell that honey in it. So, uh, 8.5 out of 10. Next, we're going to do a taste test. I am going to taste this, uh, beer and, you know, see what it's all about. Cheers. Um, I 
I, I seriously do not taste any honey. Um, it's not sweet. Um, it seriously has zero honey taste. Um, yeah, that is just, you know, it's there in the smell, but the taste. I keep wanting to try because I just can't believe it's not there. No, nothing. It's strange. What a fucking waste. All right. Um, the taste, I mean, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I mean, that is just disappointing. No, but I don't, I don't taste any honey in this. So, uh, Tom, you need to get your uh, taste in your beer, right? You need to get dial this in because especially after I'm inducted into the family, the beaver family, I don't want to be a part of this family. You have to sup up your game, man. Not good. Um, yeah, that was, you know, the smell is great, but the uh, taste was not very great. So um, taste, I'm going to give it a five out of 10. And that's, I'm being generous. Hey everybody. Uh, just real quick. I actually forgot to do the uh buzz rating so uh kind of reviewing what the buzz is making me feel like and kind of what it's doing and uh and i think now would be a great time i am now four five i am five beers deep um it's been about i don't know 30 minutes and uh i've been pounding them like a taking them to pound town. Um, so I am ready for the buzz review. Uh, what I'm going to uh, do with this one, um, kind of rating it based on how I feel. Um, I guess I'll start with explaining just just how I feel. Um, I feel good. Um, you know that I would. Uh, it is a good buzz. It's very light and pre and happy and noodly and loose and um, it's a great buzz. Um, very happy with it. I am honey buzzed. Um, I think the rating I'm going to give this honey buzz, it's going to be an 8.5 out of 10, um, which helps the overall rating, um, you know, given the fact that the taste test didn't work out so well uh, for Tom and his company. Um, this may bump you up a few points. Just wanted to add this in. Forgot about it. Kind of, kind of, you know, testing and tuning things. Um, as we go, I know all you guys have been dying to see new content. So here you go. Here we go. So overall score, um, I'm going to have to give the uh, Belgian Beaver or the uh, Must Be the Honey Blondie um, 6.5 out of 10. Um, that's just, you know, that's the best the score is going to get. The stuff wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. Smell was pretty good. Uh, taste was just lackluster. Um, so that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in and, uh, you know, I'll get some more cool stuff coming your way, um, as the days go on.